गुरुर ब्रह्मा गुरुर विष्णु गुरुर देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः देयर इज ऑलवेज अ पॉपुलर एंड द रियल notion or a nature of a thing of a science of an object so we say real that is always real and the popular may or may not be real similarly we have a popular notion about yoga patanjali talks about the real notion the real understanding about yoga what he says what is the result the benefit is discovery of my real nature that real nature reveals and expresses permanent peace and happiness love and wisdom 24 by 7 and that brings an end to the suffering so that real notion is clearly explained by patanjali in the first chapter that we will understand step by step but in the first four sutras he defines empty the mind of its content and then you discover your real nature but as long as you are not in that real nature the mind will continue to cause suffering caused by the different mental and mental states the next six or seven sutras he explains what are the what are the different uh, thought pattern that we can classify which are painful and non painful follows by he talks about what exactly is the practice so there he points out the practice with wisdom with dispassion i have to practice yoga with applied viveka applied viveka is dispassion what is the popular notion of yoga 55 minutes of physical practices 2 minutes of breathing 1 minute of chanting and one minute of meditation then we have different schools and styles of yoga we are doing those different schools and styles of yoga uh because to derive some tangible benefits at the physical level at the mental level that is a popular notion of yoga what patanjali is saying hatha yoga is a part of whole yoga raj yoga is a part of whole yoga according to patanjali raj yoga gyan yoga is a part of the whole yoga what is that whole yoga that goal is to discover my true nature so that popular notion is rejected by the commentator vyasa vyasa was the one of the greatest masters of eastern wisdom who has contributed more than 500 or 600 books and literatures 
in fact, the very foundation of yoga coming from him. So if he gives commentary of Yoga Sutra, there he clearly explains the real notion of yoga is to find the permanent peace and happiness, love and the wisdom deeper within. Now understand that uh, we have covered that part. We live at three levels. The, the real self of which we are not aware. When we reach to the ultimate state of yoga, then only we can find our real nature, what is known as Tada Drashtu Swarupe Avastha. As long as we are not there, we live in Mithyatma, the false self, identifying ourselves with the body. Now I live as body, the asana becomes. 99% important to me. That becomes a popular notion of yoga. Because, but I'm not the body. This is Mithyatma. This is the false identification. And so the secondary identification is that I am a son, father, mother. So that also causes the popular notion of yoga to exist in our society. Why they exist in our society? Because we have not understand the essence of yoga according to, not according to me, according to Patanjali and according to the commentator who opened and explained each and every sutra. Popular notion is instant, like instant food. Real notion is a journey to self-discovery. Journey to the self-discovery demands knowledge. And the knowledge is not realized, cannot be realized in a day. I can intellectually understand. So Patanjali says sadhana, the way the seed cannot become a tree overnight. Knowledge cannot be realized overnight. Or on the other hand, if the knowledge is there, for example, in the asana, only one example, we will continue our journey further uh, into the sutra. Uh, just to give you an example, if the knowledge about the journey of asana is clear, according to the Patanjali, what I will do? My vision is to discover the self and allow this body to support that journey. To support that journey, Patanjali says, Ther Sukham Asanam, steadiness, happiness in the mind. Steadiness in the body, happiness in the mind is the name of the asana. So when we explore, go deeper, understand what this sutra explains according to the commentator master vyasa he says there are only six seven postures if you do it regularly that will help you to sit in uh, sit for pranayama and sit for meditation for a longer period and that will take care of even your body so now this is the real notion so we should always first acquire the knowledge, not according to my intellectual understanding. Now, if I start understanding the Newton's law of motion according to my own intellect, I will destroy that principle. Similarly, First, we have to acquire the knowledge, what the masters have written. And then we have to think and contemplate accordingly. 
why the master sees steadiness in the body why the master sees a cheerfulness in the mind while doing the asanas is he referring a relationship between the body and the mind is he referring the relationship of the state of the cheerfulness with the steadiness of the body and that he has explained in the other sutra prayatna shaithalyata ananta samapatya bhyam so in order to keep that popular notion patanjali has no objection patanjali says but know it have a clarity of understanding the knowledge of the yoga should be clear in our head so the intellect is pure and that will inspire you to follow the right path and move towards the real notion